What's going on everybody? It is another episode for you guys and we are doing a fun trip. The last video I was fly fishing with my buddy Devin. They have a house out in uh, Lake Almanor. So it's about two and a half hours away from here. It's on the California side and we're gonna go hang out with them, do some fishing and have a good time. So bringing you guys along. So we're jumping in the car right now. We're heading that way and uh, he doesn't get there till tonight. So see you guys in a little bit. We made it. So we got here a little bit early. Devin was nice enough to give us the key to their house out here and uh, let us in early. So stoked, we're here. We're getting our stuff put away. Got the pups here too. We're ready to hang out. You tight? Oh no, pressure's on me. Yeah, it is. <laughs> so I start with tying a little bit. Oops. Get you, little boy. So I just wrap it up. With nice the red stuff? Yep, kind of like get everything started. Uh -huh. Cut the tail end off and then I'll wrap it. And what I do now is I'll flip the tie over. I usually start it like that only to get the weight and everything to the front of the hook. Because uh -huh. if you have it angled down, it just helps them stop and flip it over. Woo! Wrap all the way to the back of the hook. You don't want to go down to the band because if you have material, like in this hook, it keeps, like if the hook sets, right. you, know, you don't want any bolts keeping it from uh, getting a nice hook set in that fish's mouth. Go all the way back up to the front, <clears throat> right? Then I take a piece of this super shiny craft material. <laughs> I'm sure when we did gymnastics, we put this in our hair. <laughs> I did. It was pretty sweet. You know, especially when I won my participation. I to make sure this was set to real glitter mode. So you tie that in. And you just start at the top. Right. And then what I do is I will tie it back in all the way to the back. So it's all the way tied in. Did I just give it some shiny? Yep. Yeah, and then I'll go all the way back to the front of the hook with the thread and let it hang. And now since I went this way with my thread, you want to go the opposite Whoa. direction with this. And Whoa. this will give the body that was a fake fall. I saw some it. shine. And the red well, thread underneath gives it depth. So put this dubbing in there, in that loop. So you spread the loop open, put some dubbing in there. And then, hold it in. Yep, and then twist. And you'll see what happens when I twist it up. So you spin it, and now you go around this. Tie it off. Three, I usually do it twice, three times, and then one more time. Three. Cut your thread. Boom, you have a trout slaying machine. <laughs> Boom. Yeah. Alright. Rainbow. That's pretty cool. Flight by trout. trout slaying machine. Alright, so obviously he knows a lot more than I do. Just tie this little guy. You can buy these at the store for like between a dollar and a half and like three and a half or four dollars. He just tied one. Probably gonna try one. Well look as good as this, but we're gonna use these tomorrow. Introduction. This is my buddy Devin. You guys saw in the last video. What's up, brother? Grew up with this guy. We did gymnastics together and uh, for a long time. So been friends since we were little, little kids. Moved back, finally connected, hanging out again, getting some fly fishing in. He's teaching me a lot of stuff, so super sick. But uh, yeah, it should be a fun weekend. We'll see how mine turns out. So we'll start. There you go, right about there. Right, so yeah, start. You can, yeah, if that feels more comfortable to wrap it that way, it doesn't really matter which way you go. All the way till you're at the front of the hook. Yeah. Huh? Tie it this way. Around, right? Yep, go one, like a couple, like I would go straight around closer once you get there Got and it. do a couple of those. Super sweet. She needs and there we go. Got the first fly done. Made it to the trailhead. Gonna hike down. We're gonna go. Start fishing the river. Oh, we're going across the bridge? Yeah. All right. Woo! It's gonna be sick. Rough water right So that's kind of... That's where you want your kit. So that, it goes down in and there. And carries it along. It carries off. This fish will hold kind on of the, on the side. Right, the knees, right. But the food... Dive out and... Center, yeah. Goes down the If you want to cast forward, hold your rod tip up and watch that side. Okay, the green, right? Yep, the green. So you watch that side. Watch it. If it pauses, hesitate. That's when you pull? Anything. All you do is lift. 
you passed over. Same thing, okay. No, and just do the same thing. Yeah. And just run it through that. Two like this, right. set the hook that, that way. way. Never upstream. Okay. So basically keep your finger on the thing, and if you want to cast further out, cast a little further out. Like right there. Oh! See that? You see that flash? Yeah! Is he on still? Yeah, so. What? We got one, baby. Do you need net? Oh, he's off. That's that was, what I'm talking about. I got it too, baby. See? That's so demonstrating sick. right there okay. how effective your net yeah, is. Yeah, dude. It's just sick. cast forward. But did Nuts. you see that pause that yeah, I was talking yeah, about? Yeah, yeah. It kind of. Yep. All right, guys. My turn to try, I guess. Here we go. So sick. You see that pod? Yeah. All right, buddy. Let's go home. Yeah, buddy, too. Double hook up, baby. <laughs> yeah, here we go, buddy. Drop. Double hook up. Woo, there he goes. Sick, man. The bats, what do you, you catch him on? The. The top, the not not mine. That's a good one. Yeah, boy. Sick. Nice job, dude. Sweet. That's awesome. Sick, dude. <laughs> He's on again, baby. Crazy. Got it. Got it, baby. Bottom, baby! Look at that! So sick! Woohoo! There he goes. Yeah! So cool. That's what we were talking about, guys, right there. That fly we tied last night. Just hooked the big one. That was awesome. So freaking sick. We've got another fish on, baby! Yeah, dude. All right, guys, so we fished this side pretty well. Uh, we're going to try to jump into the other one. Devin wins for catch of the day. <laughs> nice little slingshot reel rod. No, no, no. Freaking hilarious, man. Stuff you find. But, man, killer morning starting over here. So we think we kind of fished this side most of it. So we're going to try and go up and around and hit that side. Should be good. So I just hooked up. Lost him. Devin just got a decent one. Nice jump, baby. That's a good one, dude. <laughs> All right, you guys, finished up the day. Wow, that was just freaking awesome. So much fun. Devin said we'd hook up. I wasn't sure if we would, and uh, we definitely did. The morning was sick. Like, as soon as we got there, we just started hooking up. Um, I think I got like four or five in the morning. Um, didn't get all of them on camera, but man, it was sick. And then I got probably like literally eight or nine at least on, but not brought in, like four or five brought in. And it was just so cool. They're not the biggest thing. They're not the biggest fish, but it was uh, it was just cool. It's so fun. Uh, we're called, it's called Euro Nymphing. So basically like you're casting it out, you know, and uh, letting it go down the water. And then as soon as you feel something, that's when you hook it and bring it in so fun we went out for like an hour and a half tonight and uh got two more oh man first brown trout tonight was so sick so that was super cool super pumped we're about to have dinner <laughs> what Got away? No, you got it. Oh, do you need mine? You good? Oh man, already. That's awesome.
Fish on, baby. Come on, baby. Yeah, baby. Got that whole thing on, too. Let's see. The good one. He's pretty. Buddy, chill out. Are we rolling? Oh, he, yeah, we're rolling, dude. See it, dude. He's pretty, huh? Look at that. What a beautiful thing, man. Sick. And he's out of here. That was on that good one that we got today. So it can get out. Yep. And then, oh. and Is that one? Yeah. So lower your rod tip as you get further because again, if so your rod tip's up here, yeah, you're not, not as deep off. as you think you are, yeah, you know? Yeah. So you want to get like the reason why you have that extension is because it's an extension of your arm. Right. This is your best position. Right there. See that? <laughs> That's your best Atta position. Boy. <laughs> okay. Hi little guy. You got him? Let me get him. So, I really didn't even need to do that. But that's your best position. <laughs> God damn it, I need to start explaining things to you. Uh, it's still on. Uh, got him, okay. So anyhow, so that's your best position. Vertical right. is your best position. Yeah, that's a brown, dude. Is it? That's a brown trout and a rainbow. Chill, buddy. Let's see him. Well, let's see him. Do you have a quiet in house? No. That's a brown. Oh. So pretty. Dude. All right, buddy. Back to you. Woo! Trout, so you see what I'm saying by like, See what the current's doing, and then if it's I, That's what I was doing. I was following the bubbles. Yep. That was awesome. That's a brown, dude. That I think that's first, my... That yeah. It is. Definitely. Guys, we woke up this morning, got one more day of fishing in. We got a couple hours in this morning. Um, didn't GoPro any of it because we were kind of just trying to hurry, get out there, and uh, get going. And it was a little slower this morning. It took us probably 20, 30 minutes to uh, catch anything. Ended up catching four. And uh, so it was pretty good. It ended up being a good day. Just took a little bit to start off, but uh, my last one, we were about to leave. I was really trying to get one more, hooked into a real nice uh, rainbow trout and uh, got him all the way into me. Went to scoop him in my net and my net was backwards. So he wouldn't go in and he was kind of right by uh, my feet. So I just went and picked him up, slipped out of my hands and uh, got away. But still, nonetheless, kind of got him in my hand so that was kind of cool and he was a good size so it was a great way to end end the fishing trip so much fun out here this is uh their place that we were hanging out at and it was a freaking blast we had so much fun out here i actually stayed a couple hours extra kayla left early this morning to go to work and they offered to drive me back and uh, so we could fish a couple more hours this morning so super awesome super fun we smashed it we caught a lot of fish obviously released everything um super fun nothing big in size but man hey it was great on the river first time doing nymphing and uh was so sick so thank you guys for watching i hope you guys enjoyed it i hope you guys maybe learned a little bit um like i'm learning so maybe you guys can learn some stuff if you if you don't know it if you are experienced in this this is probably a piece of cake to you but was a blast so thank you guys we'll see you in the next one